Hello, my name is Max Drake. I'd like to talk to you today about um, capturing information from legacy documents, such as scanned images and uh, converting them into Revit BIM models. Um, uh, the first part of the process is to actually take um, a image. This one here is a JPEG file. And uh, if we zoom in on this, you see it's a bit ratty, but when you actually zoom in, there's quite a lot of information on here. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do here is I need a dimension, so I've got this dimension here, 16 foot 10. This is actually an interesting thing. If you zoom in here, you see the pixelation of the dimension. So this is what a raster file is. It's basically pixels. So as you zoom in, the more you zoom in, the more you see the pixels. And you see some of the pixels look rather ratty, and there's some messy bits on them as well. Um, there are dirty bits on the drawing. Um, if we just zoom in on that bit there, oh, it's weird as to this. We can actually use an eraser and we can go and rub out some pieces here. And so we can do a little bit of cleaning of the original raster um, image. Anyway, once we've actually got the image, we can then go and look at, if we press this button here, the one touch vectorization, this will run a program which will vectorize over the top. And I can actually show both the vector and the raster both together. The green is the vector and the raster is the raster, um, it, which is the black ones underneath. The, um, we can then hide the raster there. When this is decided, it's going to stop faffing around. And there you've just got the green. So that's what it is. This is a bit poor zooming in, so I'm not going to zoom in on this at this point in time. Now, once we've actually got the raster, or oh, sorry, the vector, we can um, save that drawing, which we have done. We now move into Revit, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to link CAD. Now, normally it's preset as DWG and we won't find the drawing that we want because it's a DXF file. So there's a DXF file. We want level one, center to center, that's fine. And we'd actually hit open. I actually have the drawing inside here already. So there we have the scanned image. The next thing we do is where well, I just draw a couple of lines at two points and I scale it. So I use the Revit scale as in ooh, modify Revit scale and I scale that so that I actually have my image correct scale. The next thing I do is zoom in quite close because what we need to do now, and I'm just going to save that drawing, um, uh, is um, we want to start drawing walls, so that's where we use the wall pick um, uh, document for doing, or sorry, pick line. And so we go to architecture, we go to wall, we go to wall architectural, and we're set as, um, uh, sorry, we just put the room into there, and we will make the room height, well it's at that, but we can make that 8 foot. Enter. So now we actually have a room there. So when we actually touch that room, you'll see that straight away we have an area, we have a perimeter, and we have a volume. Now that, of course, is a bit of a pain since we're metric people rather than that. So we just hit units, and we just go into the units, and we change them from uh, uh, imperial into metric. And so when I touch that again, you'll find that all of my um, dimensions are now in metric. So that's handy. Now I can actually put in uh, a door and um, I want to take a door, an existing interior door, double door. No, we want in uh, an interior single oh. door frame. Door flush single instance interior, and we'll make it a, it's a three foot, so three threes and nine, so it's a 900 door, so we go 900, and tab, there's our door. So within that space, we now have that. We now have the room. We can classify the room, and we can call that room number um, room one. Or we just call it one, and we just call it service room. 
is what it's got service the room so there we got some data straight away on that so by drawing those lines by using that CAD file I've actually scaled it through I've done it so that I can now actually just trace all these other walls coming all the way through and just go through and actually just elementally just work all, all my way through so that's actually using a very 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 scruffy looking um, scan but it still works for doing the walls and the walls actually line up perfectly as to where they need to be. So without actually having to work out dimensions or anything, you've actually got the data on the, the, the walls that you want. So that's a very simple way of doing it. There is a double or triple process here. We actually have to take a raster. We actually have to change it into CAD. We then change it. We, we have the CAD drawing. We then have to import it into Revit. Once we've got it into Revit, we actually have to scale it. Once we scale it, we can then just do a straight trace using the wall and the um, command. Uh, sorry, wall and the command uh, pick lights. And then we can actually create and just trim our walls accordingly.